All right, welcome back. In this week's Destination Indiana, we take a step back into Indiana's rich history by visiting the state's first city. Vincennes, the first settlement in Indiana, a city that prides itself on its strong roots and the city's inhabitants encourage you to check it out. Just a way to get in touch with so many different types of history. Vincennes carries history lessons from the early 1700s. This was a French trading post uh, for the fur trade and it goes back 1732 and uh, there were inhabitants here well before uh, the rest of the old Ner Northwest Territory was uh, settled. Up into the 20th century and the sites, monumentous, like the George Rogers Clark Monument that sits on the site of Fort Saxville when George Rogers Clark claimed the territory in 1779. It's the largest of its of its kind outside of D.C. It's the largest on an American battlefield. The brother to William Clark, half of the Lewis and Clark expedition, George Rogers Clark's footprint is prominent in Vincennes, but not without great company. Right next door to the monument, you can catch a glimpse of the St. Francis Xavier Cathedral. Mark Hill takes us on a couple of tours. From learning the French Catholic history of Vincennes to the home of former Indiana Territory Governor William Henry Harrison. This is the state historic sites, and many of these buildings have been relocated uh, to this one central place to sort of represent uh, the early 1800s and the period where Indiana was a territory. And then we have uh, the Elihu Stout uh, print shop. Elihu Stout was brought uh, to the Indiana Territory by William Henry Harrison uh, from Kentucky, and it was the first newspaper was published uh, in Indiana here at this site. It was also stated that's where Lincoln saw his first uh, printed print. Hill takes part each year in the Vincennes Rendezvous, a weekend-long battle reenactment of the U.S. Revolutionary War. Rendezvous weekend brings in over 20,000 people. How do you grow up in Vincennes and not get involved in the history? And I think some of us in Vincennes really sort of take it for granted because we see it every day and maybe we don't pay attention to it as much as we should. But Brian Andrews does pay attention. He's also an active participant in the Rendezvous. We're the ones who are sort of keeping history living. Um, because, you know, you can look at it in a museum, you can see it at the site, but when you're with a reenactor, you can really engage with it and experience it. Vincent's is such a special place, so I'm happy to see that it was highlighted. Absolutely.